Good morning. It is 6.26 a.m. on Wednesday, June 1st, 2016. I'm Christiana Ellis and I just got up. This is five more minutes. Officially back in the normal routine today. Got my dog. Getting up early for work. Back back to the grind. Although, even as I say that, I've been thinking lately how, you know, not so much a grind. I feel like pretty happy generally with how things have been going lately. Not like in any sort of extreme, like, amazing way. But just like, yeah, I could do this. Um, yesterday's video, for some reason, it does this weird little skippy thing at the beginning. I'm not sure why that is. Uh, I did confirm that it was, uh, like that on the raw video that I uploaded and not, uh, just, you know, not just the, it was not the YouTube uploading process that introduced the glitch. Uh, it's frustrating because uh, part of what keeps this these uh, videos going is that they are easy. I know how I do it, and I do it, and it's easy. If it starts being hard, that's going to be a problem. It hasn't started to be hard yet, except that I also don't want it to be skip and to skip and be glitchy at the beginning or at any point really and then of course you know there are the times where it's accidentally gone up with no sound <sighs> I tell you ladies and gentlemen technology right am I right <sighs> I'm still kind of tired. My vacation attuned body is no longer used to getting up this early. I'll be okay. So, uh, tonight, uh, the Beyond the Wall crew will be recording Beyond the Wall for the latest episode of Game of Thrones, the one that aired while we were at Balticon. It was interesting because my panel that I was on the, uh, the Voice of Free Planet X live show was happening at the same time as the airing of Game of Thrones. Elsewise, I think a lot of us would have been watching it in the hotel room. But, uh, you know, there's only so much you can do. Um, and uh, it was a tricky balance trying to maintain spoiler-free until I was able to see it when I got home. But... It worked out okay. Um, it's funny because I definitely am a believer, and I've talked about this on these videos before, I think, that spoilers are not that big a deal, really. Um, everybody thinks they want to go in completely unspoiled, but they've done studies and people actually tend to enjoy stories more when they've been spoiled, not less. And I think that the reason for that is just that when you don't know what's going to happen, there's a certain expectation uh, that's introduced as a result where you're not sure what's going to happen and there's like almost an anxiety about that. Whereas if you know the basic plot points, you get to enjoy the journey, so to speak. You know, so in that sense, you could almost argue that, uh, would you say that an airline flight is more fun if you don't know where you're going? Not a perfect analogy. Um, <laughs> but uh, I think that's the general idea. And yet... I do still tend to prefer avoiding spoilers, just like any, you know, like most people, where possible. And so, it's a, it's a balance. But I guess the, the short version is, 
if you know spoilers of something I'm looking forward to, don't tell me. But if I were to be accidentally spoiled, not that big a deal. That's my general take on things. So, I will talk to you guys tomorrow for five more minutes.